The Huawei Mate 40 Pro is coming with insane new features and I'll be sharing the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So as we approach the launch of the Huawei Mate 40 Pro, people are getting excited about what we can expect and waiting to see what differences there's gonna be. We've already had news of great hardware and insane new features, so we're gonna go through all of the details now. Before we get started, please like the video if you're waiting for the Huawei Mate 40 and let me know in the comments if there's any other phone you guys are waiting for. But when it comes to the Huawei Mate 40 Pro, we can of course expect incredible looks, performance and photography. The Huawei Mate 40 Pro is expected to top the DxO Mark leaderboards as usual and it's going to come with a new form of camera technology. And of course, very early on, we had plenty of information about the Mate 40's camera and it just keeps getting better and better. Huawei filed a patent back in January that revealed a smartphone with a Penta camera set up on the rear. The patent illustrations were a Mate-like design, so it was expected to be the Huawei Mate 40. The patent revealed that we could be seeing up to eight cameras in total on the Huawei Mate 40 Pro, and further to this, we had another patent filed for the rear camera, and it's expected that this will be for the Mate 40 Pro. It's something we've never seen before, and while it may seem a little gimmicky, it is also very very practical. This patent filed was issued to the World Intellectual Property Office and it was uncovered by Let's Go Digital. We're very much hoping this is for the Mate 40 Pro and as you can see it's for a display around the circular camera housing. This display is going to be able to show things like alerts and messages and furthermore it's going to be used as a touch ring to quickly change some useful settings. Some examples given are volume control, camera zooming in and out, flipping pages left or right as well as controlling the clock or the alarm. Considering the index finger is roughly in this area while holding the Mate 40 Pro, it does seem like a great way to quickly control these frequently used functions. The patent came with extensive documentation, leading analysts to believe that the technology was already well underway and could be expected to be seen on the Mate 40 Pro. As well as these patents being unveiled, Ming Chi Kuo has also advised that the Mate 40 Pro is going to come with freeform lens technology. He states that this new camera technology is going to give us a wide angle lens with reduced distortion. In wide angle lenses, we generally get some blurring at the edges and of course that fisheye effect that a lot of people are beginning to dislike. This new freeform lens, however, enables zero chromatic aberrations, zero vignetting effects, and it's just a much clearer picture on the whole. Huawei are always pushing the boundaries of mobile photography, so it's great to see that the Mate 40 Pro is going to be no different. Now, when it comes to the power side of things, many sources were claiming that the Mate 40 Pro was going to be using the Kirin 1020 system on chip. While that was pretty much a given, it's actually incorrect as they're naming the new chip the Kirin 1000. A new leak from TSMC confirms that, that Huawei are going to be naming the new chipset the Kirin 1000 and they also confirm it's manufactured using 5 nanometer lithography. The chipset's going to feature an ARM Cortex A77 which brings 20% performance improvements and with the smaller nodes will of course get better power efficiency as well. It comes with the Mali G77 GPU and as did its predecessor it comes equipped with an integrated 5G modem meaning all versions of the Huawei Mate 40 are going to be 5G compatible. When it comes to the design of the Huawei Mate 40 Pro, there's been plenty of concepts floating around, so you've probably already seen a few of them. Some of them are along the right lines, whereas some of them are just completely made up. My favourite has to be the concept of the Mate 40 Pro with the inverted notch. Many jumped on this concept and it's clearly just a Photoshop that's never going to be attempted. When it comes to the design though, there are a lot of disagreements currently. Normally, as we approach the launch, things start to get clearer, but we still have many people saying it's going to be Huawei's first in-display camera, and others saying that there's only going to be minor changes. While I would love to see the in-display camera in the Huawei Mate 40 Pro, we do have to be a little bit realistic with our expectations. 
To start with, the Huawei Mate 40 Pro is expected to have a notch. The reason for this is of course because of the face unlock biometrics. Huawei tend to use the secure 3D face unlock, so it's unlikely that even if the in-display technology was ready, they'd have it accurately working for all of the cameras and sensors. That being said, the other side of the argument is that Huawei may ditch all of it in favor of the in-display camera. The truth is though, no one knows right now, but as soon as we get a solid leak, I will be updating you guys. Considering the Mate does typically keep to the same form factor, we can expect a relatively similar design. The Huawei Mate 40 Pro is rumored to be increasing the display size even further this time, and we can expect something around a 6.7 inch display. It will of course be an OLED display protected by Gorilla Glass 6 and have a reasonably high screen to body ratio. The Mate 40 Pro is also going to have an in-display fingerprint scanner. They're reportedly going to be sticking with just over a 2K resolution with a reasonable PPI and it's also going to support HDR10+. There are many rumors saying that it's going to be a 90 or 120Hz display, but I haven't seen any evidence so at this point it's just speculation. We can be pretty certain that the Mate 40 Pro will have at least 90Hz though and my money it would be on 120 it's likely that they're also going to stick with the waterfall style display given how popular it was on the predecessor and we're expecting an aspect ratio of 19 and a half by 9. As we discussed earlier, it's going to be powered by the Kirin 1000 system on chip and it will of course be shipping with the EMUI 11. It's going to come with a choice of 128 or 256 gig of internal storage and while many other manufacturers are putting unnecessary amounts of RAM in their phones, it's expected that the Mate 40 Pro is going to come with 10 gigs of RAM. It will of course offer expandable storage in the form of a nano memory card. When it comes to the cameras, it's reportedly going to have a Penta camera system on the rear and the circular camera housing we're used to seeing. They will of course be Leica cameras and while we don't know exactly what lenses are being used, we know to expect the periscope and the freeform camera. There are rumors that we'll be seeing a 64 megapixel primary sensor, but to be honest, I wouldn't worry too much about what cameras they pick. In standard Huawei tradition, whatever cameras they pick, they'll make it work and the phone will no doubt be incredible for photography. When it comes to the video, we'll of course have both optical image stabilization as well as electronic and it's expected that the device is going to be capable of 8K videos at 30 frames per second. We're very unlikely to see a 3.5mm audio jack on the Mate 40 Pro, but we are hoping for stereo speakers. It's all going to be powered by a larger battery than its predecessor thanks to the additional size and rumors are suggesting a 4800 mAh battery. Its predecessor came with support for 40 watt fast charging and 27 watt wireless so we can expect improvements on this, but as of yet we haven't had any details. Of course, one of the biggest questions on everyone's minds is will this have Google? Of course, it will come with Android, but as many of you know, there have been tensions between Huawei and the USA recently that's caused the USA to add them to a ban list. This in turn means that Google can no longer deal with Huawei, and while Huawei can still use Android open source project, it means that they won't have Google services. The truth is though, at the moment, we still don't know if there have been any changes here. We haven't had anything to say it's resolved yet, so I can only assume that there haven't been any changes, but for those that need Google, there are still a few workarounds. It is however a shame as Huawei have been growing rapidly through the years and this is a huge setback for the company. Although many people have still purchased their phones, it's no doubt caused them a reduction in sales. Of course, it's not going to be too much longer until we find out all of the details. The release is expected to be in the middle of September and for those curious about cost, it's going to be a hard one to judge. There's been quite a bit of variation when it comes to smartphone pricing lately and given that it may not come with Google, we could also see it being slightly cheaper. Although that is the case though, we do have to remember that there's also very expensive hardware inside this phone, so they can't sell it for too little. Personally, I'm going to estimate that we see the Huawei Mate 40 launch around $900 and the Mate 40 Pro to be about $1,150. There will no doubt also be a special Porsche edition as usual, but currently we haven't had any information. Unfortunately, that's all I've got for you today, and unlike other smartphones at the moment, the Mate 40 news has involved a lot of speculation. As soon as any solid leaks come to light though, I will of course be sharing them with you guys straight away, but as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. 
who out there is waiting for the Huawei Mate 40 and you waiting for the Mate 40 or the Mate 40 Pro. But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.